are you um, reading today then? Uh, Practical Caravan. Okay. And you? Um, I'm well, I've gone for the Caravan and Motem Club magazine actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, both obviously both magazines are very good. Um, which one's your favourite? You like that one, don't you? I quite like this one actually. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one too. Um, but that's what today's video is all about. We've got uh, the four main magazines, not just Practical Caravan and Caravan and Motorhome Club. We've got Caravan Magazine and also Camping and Caravan and Club Magazine. The four main magazines. Obviously, there are some uh, slightly more niche. Uh, magazines for different types of caravans like the teardrops and those kind of things but we've got the four mainstream four mainstream uh, magazines and we're just gonna have a little chat about our favorites quick bit of housekeeping though just before we start um, and that's that sorry there was no video last week been really busy at college and everything else that comes with it so sorry there wasn't a video last week but we're back to normal and yeah everything's uh, going really really well so uh, yeah let's uh, jump into the video exciting task of going first on this video. Thanks Oliver for that. That's right. Um, uh, I've chosen firstly the Caravan magazine. It does pretty much what it says on the tin. It's a magazine for caravanning. Um, and uh, we're going to focus first of all on the travel. So all four magazines are going to be going to look at travel first of all and um, this magazine seems to focus quite a bit on the uh, northern UK. I mean, obviously staycations because of lockdown whatever so um, pretty much that's what this magazine is, is very much focused in on. Um, I've taken the section here all about the lakes um, and, and what's really quite nice about it is um, they're, they're giving a review on, on areas but then also the type of um, food and delicacies you can get in that area so uh, damsons, sticky toffee pudding, uh, certain cheeses, my favourite. Um, so for some reason <laughs> it sort of drawn me to uh, to this little bit here, and I think that my favourite reading was about Morecambe Bay shrimps um, and pretty much what you can do with them. It's like, yuck. thank you very much. What do you mean yuck? It's fish. Oh, that's f superb. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's not a bad magazine um, and um, it's given me a few ideas of some things that I can rustle up in the caravan, so pretty good. So I've got Camping in Caravan in Club magazine. Um, which obviously goes with all their camping and caravanning club sites and DAs and rallies and all that kind of thing. But like Dad said in that one, click disclaimer across all these magazines that we've got here that they are all limited on their travel content because we have been in lockdown for it's most true. of the past two years. Yeah, yeah. So um, they can't obviously put most travel in, but what they have done, they've done really well. So going back to the magazine, I've got camping and caravanning club and I'm open on the youth uh, section or youth uh, test page uh, March 2020 issue, issue and um, it's really interesting the camping and caravanning club tend to focus more on the younger market hence why they've got a big uh, two page spread of uh, it all so they're talking about cooking for youngsters the youth rallies that they do um, and they've got quite a bit about tent camping in here um, obviously if we scroll a bit further forward they've got bits and pieces about their different uh, club sites so they're talking about Norwich um, and they've got quite a bit, not all in, ca like that one's obviously caravan and motorhome club, they're all in caravans and motorhomes. This one's more about trailer tents, uh, tents, caravans and motorhomes as well. And also their little lodges that they do, which also features in the caravan and motorhome club, such as uh, Abbey Wood I know has them. They've got their own like little camping lodges on the sites, so they tend to do uh, bits and pieces of those as well. But this uh, magazine is really, really interesting. Lots of really good content in this. And uh, yeah, the members that uh, participate in this magazine have done a really good job. Right, so the next magazine I've got is actually my favorite, I have to say, it's the Caravan and Motorhome Club magazine. Um, I really like this magazine, um, possibly because it comes as part of the membership. But um, anyway. Um, is that because you're getting a bargain? It's free. Well, I like a bargain, yeah. Um, anyway. Um, I've, I've focused in on uh, on this section actually and uh, it's around the Scotland North Coast 500 route. Um, Something we'd actually quite like to do sometime. Yeah, absolutely, we'd love to do this. Um, it's got to mention to Andrew Ditton as well. Oh really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I've probably written it then. <laughs> uh, I think you might well have done. Oh, um, right. Anyway, what I really love about this is the fact that it's, um, it gives you the club site 
um, and, and a little bit about it but then it also gives member views as well so it's actually people that have been there themselves Should I tell that, you, you don't know this what? because but we wrote we did a member of you remember do you remember that for St Agnes do you remember yeah so yeah we we have actually done our own member yeah, yeah. review of true. St Agnes that's true so yeah I like this it's good cool um, I've got Practical Caravan my favourite magazine da -da. And um, obviously Practical Caravan do a lot of work with the um, best of British, I think they used to be called sites, the best of the best sites, we all know what they are. And um, they're doing winter sites this time. Um, so I really like this one. So they've got a couple sites. They've got Stanmore Hall, Concierge Camping, which everyone will know from the Million Pound Motorhome programme that was on a couple of weeks ago, where the very effluent, should we call him, chap, um, went in his very expensive £250,000 motorhome. Is that because he's smelly? Effluent? We mean affluent. 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 That's the word. Effluent. This is really helpful having him here, actually, because when I say something wrong, I get corrected. It's quite <laughs> helpful. Effluent. <laughs> yeah, go on. Affluent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the affluent chap on his very expensive motorhome went here and a um, very nice site. Yeah, and also they give you a little map as well so you can have a look and they give you all the details and yeah, very, very, very helpful. Next up, we're going to look around the caravan and motorhome reviews or in the case of the camping and caravanning club, also the reviews for tents and uh, trade So tents. I'm back on Caravan Magazine again and now we're going to look at um, the leisure vehicles themselves and sort of what do the, the vans um how much detail do they really give um, on on the vans and how they review them so um i'm looking at the coachman uh luso which um it's quite an expensive caravan it's over forty thousand quid so forty thousand four hundred and fifty five pounds plus five hundred and forty five pound delivery um pictures are very clear um of the caravan um a lot of pictures to be fair so giving you a lot of detail um, and they really go into quite a bit of detail around the van, the layout. Uh, they give you a, a spec layout here um, and they pretty much give you all the specs around the van. Um, not bad. They give a verdict to sum up at the end as well. Um, and it just says that the base of the caravan is fabulous, but then you'd expect that for a caravan at that price. Um, I hope so. But paying that much money and the caravan be rubbish. Absolutely. That'd be a right old rip off. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, pretty thorough. Pretty thorough, I have to say. Good. I'm again back on Camping and Caravanning Club and unfortunately, nah, it's just not as good as this. Quite interestingly though, we've got a lightweight caravan. Ooh. That was a surprise that I picked the magazine out. No, I did this purposely. Um, it's the Luna Arriva. Not that I would consider one for multiple reasons, but I won't go into that now. We've had a long line of Lunas that have uh, not been the best. But anyway, as we all know, Luna have been taken over by Luna Now Automotive and Andrew Jenkinson is reviewing this particular van and yeah it's all right the photos there's only one two three four five of them um, and they're not very big but it goes into some good detail and um, he says about the um the old sort of quasars of the old and some history which is quite interesting so and there's which that doesn't have it's got headings which i also quite like um and it gives a small couple line verdict um but no it it's a good mat. It's a it's fine review just to get you kind of started, but yeah. that definitely wins out of these two. Yeah, the next two we've got is the Caravan and Motorhome Club and the Practical Caravan. All right. Um. Well, we're back on Practical Caravan as we said in Caravan and Motorhome Club, and for uh, straight out the gates, Practical Caravan, in my opinion, does the best reviews. Always have, and I think always will do. I've always said that. Um crazily we were going through when we were moving house a while ago and we still didn't clear them out we found them a couple of weeks ago some old magazines from 2013 from practical caravan when we used to have them over all the time yeah they haven't changed they're still brilliant the reasons why i like them they're actually reviewing the eldest crusader mm, this is going to be another one of ball ball day uh, moments again borrelius borrelius I don't know. Okay, we'll do the old, and um, we'll ask the computer to tell us what it's called now. Borealis. Okay, that's what the computer said it was called, because um, I don't know how to say that. And um, yeah, firstly, price, births, all the usual information we want. But do you know what makes it for me? Really, really silly. The, the little, I'll do a little photo in a minute. 
the little things that so show you. So it's like a little uh, title, or lounges, comfortable, but might be a squeeze for four, and then a little arrow to show what they mean, or uh, nice scatter cushions, just the little things that matter, and the little boxes that say thumbs up, and you can really think, you can really see that they put some effort into making these magazines. They call it showroom first look, and um, this is just the first look uh, review. Uh, I don't know if they've got it in this particular issue. Uh, no, they haven't, but they do the big, full, long test, which, yeah. is, when they, which is when they've had a caravan for a few weeks and um, on a long-term loan, and um, it's a couple, you know, three or four page spread of everything they've learned in that couple of months, which if you're looking at buying that specific caravan is definitely one to look out for. Cool. Um, I'm back on the Caravan and Motorhome Club uh, magazine again. A bit limited, really, on the on the reviews that they do. Um, they're doing a twin test here on motorhomes, but basically it's one page. Uh, they don't do a great deal when it comes to reviews. That might be different, maybe, once uh, they get more opportunity, I don't know. But um, And there isn't really a lot of text. It doesn't really go into a lot of detail, so mm, not great. Yeah. Um, about well, it, really. Next section is, I'm just going to call it, other stuff interesting stuff that makes the magazine worthwhile so that could include um sort of product reviews car reviews uh, q and a's uh, uh what's it called um experts anything like that so um yeah let's have a quick look through the magazines and just so other stuff then yes um so i'm back on caravan magazine and um there's a, a bit in the back actually about budget caravanning um and um one of our fellow colleagues, Lee Davy, um, he's doing a, a, a something with um, their, their kids, with his son Charlie, um, trying to basically renovate a vintage Bailey Maru caravan. Now, it says cost so far, this is brilliant. Um, caravan was 5 99 <laughs> That's good, isn't it? That's great, isn't it? Roof batten's £10, Evo stick polyurethane wood adhesive, 7 99 um, and some 9 mil ply which they found in the shed so it didn't cost them anything so it's excellent because they, they, they're going to renovate a caravan what brilliant idea the other one didn't he the Bailey Maestro yeah, yeah. his other one that he's got yeah. and, and then if you're really bored you know when it's raining or whatever and you sat in the caravan you can do some quizzes as well so and also you can read all the ads teaser. in any of the magazines absolutely so uh, Sudoku I'm rubbish at Sudoku there's a crossword there's a bit of a, a word search going on uh, Q&A section um, new stuff so it gives you a bit of a review about stuff going on um, yeah, it's pretty good actually. Um, there's something for everyone, to be fair. So yeah, I like it. Good. So um, the Camping Caravanning Club magazine is quite a small magazine and trying to find other stuff was reasonably difficult. Uh, but I have found something. It's Eat Local from Ali Ray, the uh, famous uh, cooker. Cooker? Cook, 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 cooker. 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 A cook, yeah, whatever you want to call them. It's sponsored by Kadak, obviously everyone's favourite barbecue, yours especially. Yeah, I want if, a big one. If anyone wants to donate us a Curry Chef too, we'll happily oblige. Um, donate. <laughs> so yeah, why not? Mm. And really Better take us for that, I'm sure. Mm. <laughs> we'll swap you a Grillo gas if you really want to as well. Um, it's slightly damaged, but because it anyway, that's a long story. Um, anyway, so the um, yeah, really good little bit on cooking here. And um, yeah, the magazine, as we know, is quite a small magazine, but there's some really interesting little facts in here that uh, really make it very interesting to read. Um, Practical Caravan, well, there's so much choice in here for other stuff. There's tow car reviews, used vans, used car reviews, uh, Q and um, technical advice, product reviews, there's loads in here. Absolutely so much choice. Um, there's some bit on um, petrol stations. This magazine, it may be uh, 4.99, which is one of the more expensive magazines. 100% worth it. So much content. Yeah, 100% worth the money on that one because of the amount of other stuff in there. And also, not many ads. Nice. Okay, so I'm back on the Caravan and Motorhome Club magazine again. Um, and I'm looking at tow cars now. So uh, we've got the, the new Golf. Which one is it? Golf, Golf 8. Golf 8. Mark 8 Golf. Can't keep up with it. Um, pretty thorough to be fair. Um, on 
what's going strong with regards to uh, to towing. Interesting uh, hard to test golf. though in a caravan yeah. magazine because mostly it's four b fours, Range Rovers, Land Rovers, Kia Sportages, and Sorentos. Very and true. Very all true. that kind of jazz that everyone tows with, not yeah. Uh, yeah, little yeah. hatchbacks. So well done, caravan and motorhome yeah, club for them. choosing something a bit more different. And then also, uh, what I really like about it is that they they do member offers as well. So um, they've got the Sasanyong. Sanyong. It's a it's silent S. It's got two S's on the yeah, front of it. One is silent. It's Sasanyong, isn't it? This yeah. Sanyong. You sure? What? I'm sure it is. We, let's, why not, just for the second time in this video, let's ask the lady on Google. Uh, let's ask the lady what's, how you say Sanyong? Now. Sanyong. Anyway, whatever it is, and you've just found out what it was, um, yeah, they do member offers. Uh, and on this one, they're saying free tow bars. Uh, with this one, so pretty well, good. I know Mercedes, this is slightly not obviously not a Sanyong or whatever you want to call it, but Mercedes they do the best. Mercedes and Jaguar do the two best member offers for tow cars. Jaguar, when we were looking, do I was on the XF 24% 20... off, so it was worked out at about on a brand new car, eight and a half grand off. It's not bad, pretty a brand good. new car. And um, what was it? Um, Mercedes do. You go through their affinity business leasing, so essentially get it at business le le lease prices. So, another really good option. Yeah. Well, that was um, today's um, video, all about the four main magazines. Obviously, we've got Practical Caravan, Caravan, Caravan and Modern Club, and the Camping and Caravaning Club. The four main magazines, like I said earlier on in the video. There's obviously some more niche magazines, but these are the main four. And uh, final verdict, my favourite's The Practical Caravan, and yours is? Yeah, Caravan and Motown Club. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we're not saying by any means that the other two magazines are bad, because they're no. definitely not. We still enjoy reading them. This is just our personal opinion that both of them just uh, tick our boxes slightly more. So yeah, both magazines are really good. So as always, if you've enjoyed this slightly different video, um, we thought we'd just do this, you know, just to share our thoughts, really. And um, so, as always, if you enjoyed this video, remember to give us a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions. And also, why not comment in the comments box below your favourite magazine and Good why? Idea. And if you've got any suggestions of other magazines that we don't uh, subscribe to and we don't uh, read, why not pop them in the comments too? I'll be happy and will be interested to read them. So, yeah, give us a thumbs up, comment in the box below. And we'll see you in two weeks' time for the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye. Cheers then. See you. Bye. Bye.